Alright, so now we're ready to talk about the Taylor series and uh, just to point out this is a review uh, it should be a review you should already have learned about the Taylor series in your in your past classes uh, but we'll review the whole thing here um, the Taylor series uh, this is the general equation for a Taylor series the Taylor series as we see from this summation n equals 0 to infinity uh, this is an infinite series uh, that, that can be used to represent uh, any function f of x uh, the Taylor series um, uh, we'll just make a few notes here. The Taylor series does not does not always uh, converge. So uh, for for some functions, it it doesn't necessarily converge. But when it does converge, uh, the Taylor series can be used uh, to represent any function as a as a summation of polynomial terms. We see this this is this term here. This is a polynomial term. It's a summation of polynomial terms and it also includes this derivative term. So uh, you can approximate a function with only its uh, value and its derivatives, the value of its derivatives at uh, at however many points. So let's let's write this out to get a little better idea of, of how it works here. Um, here we go. So we're going to say, all right, then f of x, all right, and uh, is equal to, so we'll have f, f to the 0, the 0th derivative. So, so that's just going to be f of a, all right, so that's our first term, f of a, because x minus a to the 0 is 1. So f of a is our first term, so that our, if, if, we, if that was all we had, that would be a pretty good representation of our function f of x. If x and a are close together, then uh, f of x is going to be pretty close to f of x. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but we, we can continue adding terms, and as we add terms, we get closer and closer to the actual value here of f of, f of x. The, the next term we're going to add is f prime of x, or excuse me, of a uh, over, over uh, n factorial, so that's just going to be 1 factorial, so that's that's uh, that's pretty simple, times, uh, let's write this a little better, times x minus a uh, to the 1, so, so it's just x minus a. All right, and so uh, this should make some pretty good sense as well because we're at, we're taking the function value and then we're just, uh, we're taking the slope and then uh, and and we're moving along it uh, according to the slope. So that just that just um, gets us a little bit closer to the value. But then of course it keeps going. Uh, f double prime of a over two factorial uh, times x minus a squared plus, and we can keep going. F triple prime of a over 3 factorial x minus a cubed plus f and we just call it to the fourth of a over 4 factorial x minus a to the fourth plus dot 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 right and this continues going all the way up to infinity so uh, this is the Taylor series. Uh, this is sort of term by term, and then this is a more compact summation notation. Uh, this is the Taylor series. Um, we'll get a little better idea of what the Taylor series actually is and does uh, as we look at an example. 